Hey, welcome to the video today. We're going to be talking about if you need to live in New York or LA to be an artist. Uh, first off, what we can kind of get out of the way is the answer is no. You can be an artist anywhere. You can be an artist and be successful anywhere, really. Um, we see it all the time. Um, but I think if you clicked on this video, what you want to know is how valuable it is to be in LA or New York for your art career. Uh, I currently live in Los Angeles. Um, I've been here for about two years. So the video will be focused a bit more on the LA art scene, uh, but I do know and I will extrapolate a little bit what I understand the difference is to be from LA to New York. Um, I'll walk you through the pros that I've experienced being here and the cons that I've experienced being here. Uh, we'll talk about some other cities that might be good for you. And then we'll also talk about some tips and tricks if you're not in an art market city, uh, some ways that you can grow your following, grow your audience, improve your career. Uh, and maybe that's in service of getting to an art market city, as I do think it's really important. There are timestamps down in the bottom of the video. Uh, feel free to skip to the part that you want to hear about. So let's get right into it. The pros of being in Los Angeles, I think they're somewhat obvious. Um, the art scene here is large. <laughs> the art scene here is like way different. I'm originally from St. Louis, Missouri, and the art scene we had there, we had maybe 10 galleries here. Uh, there's a lot more to look at. There are many, many more galleries. There's lots of galleries that are selling work at good prices. Um, that was really encouraging to me when I first got here. With that, with the amount of galleries that are here, there are networking opportunities. Uh, every weekend, there are amazing openings, uh, artists who are doing really good work. There are so many, in fact, that, and this kind of gets into a little bit of a con, but there are so many, in fact, that you have to be really judicious in which shows you go to, which galleries you support, become a community member of, because you cannot see it all here. And on top of that, you have access to great museums, great institutions, uh, you have access to funding opportunities that are for Los Angeles only, you have a beautiful landscape to live in, you have great weather, and one of the major pros here I want to touch on is the studio space. There is a ton of studio space available in Los Angeles. The prices are really cheap, um, way, way cheaper than New York. And depending on what you're into as an artist, what your focus is, there are people here that do all different kinds of things. I personally work with fashion brands here in LA, um, I work with you know, some people that are in the film industry. You can broaden your practice in that way, get some opportunities in that way, and as well as opportunities, collaboration. The collaboration here is also really great if you're into that as an artist. Um, you can find collaborators. You can probably find somebody who's working in a similar fashion to you uh, at different stages in their career. The collaboration potential here between artists is also amazing. So on the con side, uh, the cost of living has to be number one. Um, while my studio space is affordable compared to New York City, the living space is about the same. Um, living space costs are really high here. It's no joke. I wouldn't be able to do it if I didn't have support from you know, my partner, my fiance. Uh, Having roommates is necessary unless you're partnered up, uh, unless you're making a lot of money. Um, and even if you are, it's good to like keep costs of living low. Uh, I definitely recommend that. Maybe don't live in a, in a damn shoebox, but get a, get a place that you're gonna like and that you can, you can like make your life in a little bit. But even more so than that, like you gotta be as close as possible to the studio too, because you could get a studio and like West Adams or something, and if you're living up in the valley, good luck, good luck getting there. I was living in Hollywood, 
I had my studio downtown, and then uh, if I needed to go to the studio in the evening, it was 45 minutes or an hour just to get to the studio, uh, and that's just like, it wears on you over time. Now I live three blocks away from my studio, and that has improved everything. So LA traffic, you've heard it. I think it's probably the same in New York. Another con that we can talk about is competition. There's a lot of competition. Um, there are a lot of other people, other artists here, and for somebody who was the only artist in their high school that went to art, a small art program, uh, or you go on to get your MFA, or whatever phase you're in, we don't really get to see how big the art world is, how many other people are trying to make this work for them until we're out here, you know, in the real world, in a big city, in an art market city. Uh, it takes a long time to figure out actually how big it is. Um, the problem isn't so much competition, but I, I find the problem for me to be more comparison. Like comparing myself to others, comparing where I'm at in my career to where other people are at in their career, here it's going to be completely unavoidable. Like, I have gotten really far in my art career, and as far as I am right now, I mean, there's a hundred examples of people whose careers are further. I try to take that as inspiration, but you're going to see it everywhere. You're going to have to think about it, you're going to have to come to grips with it, and that can be kind of seen as a con here. Now, for those of you that don't want to move to New York or LA, what can you do? Um, if you just don't like those cities and you want to get out of the States, London, London's amazing. They have a great art scene. Um, the art scenes in Europe are really interesting, popping off always, like, they're always ahead of us when it comes to how the art market is growing and changing over there. They've just been in the game a lot longer. Uh, as far as like U.S. cities go, Chicago is a viable option. They have School of the Art Institute Chicago there that brings in a lot of talent and retains a lot of talent in the way of professors and uh, keeps them in the, in the scene. There's a good scene there. Expo just got a revamp. Um, other than that, I mean, there's more niche like Santa Fe. You could look into Santa Fe. You could look into Denver. Um, you could look into Austin. Uh, but those more kind of niche art markets, you need to make sure that the kind of work that's successful there is the kind of work that you want to produce. And if you want me to make a video about those niche, uh, those niche cities and kind of how I would approach it if I was going to move to that place, leave it in the comments below um, and I'd be happy to talk more about that. So then, if you're not going to move to New York, if you're not going to move to LA or London, um, but you're going to stay in the city that you're in, maybe you're in a mid-sized uh, Midwestern city, like the city that I come from, um, what can you do, right? Like, is it possible? And I'll be straight up with you. Like, it's going to be way more difficult. It's going to be way more difficult in some ways because the infrastructure isn't there. The things that I've learned and seen and understood about the art world since I've been in LA have fundamentally changed my approach to making work. And without having that industry around you, it can be a little bit like wanting to work in an automobile factory but not living in Detroit, like in the old days. Think about that. Or uh, in more extreme cases, it can be like wanting to be a surfer, but not living near the ocean. It can feel that way. And sometimes it is that way. Uh, so what I'd recommend is visiting, traveling, getting out here, meeting people, going to shows, spend a week out here, see how it feels, and then focus on, and then focus on your online presence and your networking capacity. Focus on learning how to write a good email. <laughs> so so uh, do whatever you can to get support from people inside your community. Do whatever you can to grow the community around your artwork. If it's making videos, if it's uh, you know uh, doing some pop-up stuff or 
collaborating with some local businesses in your city, uh, try to do that. Try to get that exposure. Start building that community for yourself, and it'll grow into something. Take your social media and your website and all of that really seriously. Take it really seriously. Like, look at how artists who are professional, who have professionalized themselves, look at how they're doing it and take cues from them and try to bring your online presence, your website, um, your communications, try to bring it up to that level so then you can at least level the playing field in that sense. And if you're gonna stay where you are, like, take the dub, take the win. Take the win, invest in your community, invest in your people. If you have a lower cost of living, like, make, take advantage of that. You know, invest that, invest that into an index, like grow your savings, use it to invest into your practice. Invest in your practice slowly because the commercial side of your work might grow a little slowly, but invest it into yourself. Take the time, try to own that like you're in this place, you're gonna do the best with what you have right now. So that's all I'm gonna leave you with today. If you have questions about what I talked about today, uh, leave your questions in the comments. I'm happy to talk to you about that um, or make a response video on a topic, just depending on how it goes. Uh, to sum it up, no, you don't need to live in LA or New York to be an artist, but it is helpful for your career. It's helpful to get exposure to an art market city. So I recommend trying to get that exposure however you can. Your success as an artist is, is not attached to how much money you make. It's attached to how good your work is and how well it's affecting the people around you. What kind of thing, it, what kind of power it's bringing to your community. Um, being an artist is about what it can provide to the people around you and how you're impacting them. So if you're impacting them positively, you're successful. If money comes along with that, cool, you're still successful. But if there's money and you're not impacting your community positively, you're not bringing good experiences to the world, you're not improving, then you're failing. You're failing at that. I hope this was helpful for you all. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for spending your time with me. Um, you can check the description for links if you want to see more artwork or if you want to see some more videos. I look forward to talking to you soon, and I'll see you at the next one.